boxes, please. That's great. Now, and now your right hand. And now your two thumbs. Technology has changed over the years. The history and evolution of technology in the education sector dates back 2,500 years ago. Technology has transformed learning in classrooms, with teachers keen to emulate new learning techniques with the help of technology. In this quick video, we will look at the full evolution of educational technology, so ensure to watch to the end of this video. Also, kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are new here to help this channel grow. For better understanding, this video will be divided into three different sections. The first section is the history of classroom technology in the primitive classroom. In the colonial years, wooden paddles with printed lessons, called horn books, were used to assist students in learning verses. Over 200 years later, in 1870, technology advanced to include the magic lantern, a primitive version of a slide projector that projected images printed on glass plates. In 1920s there was an invention of radio. Radio in the 1920s sparked an entirely new wave of learning, on-air classes began popping up for any student within listening range. Next came the overhead projector in 1930, followed by the ballpoint pen in 1940 and headphones in 1950. During the 1960s the overhead projector was used for interactive classroom discussion between students and teachers. Videotapes arrived on the scene in 1951, creating a new and exciting method of instruction. The Skinner teaching machine produced a combined system of teaching and testing, providing reinforcement for correct answers so that the student can move on to the next lesson. Later on in 1959, the photocopier was introduced, also in 1972, handheld calculator entered the classrooms next, allowing for mass production of material on the fly and quick mathematical calculations. The Scantron system of testing, introduced by Michael Sokolsky in 1972, allowed educators to grade tests more quickly and efficiently. Scantron is a company from Egan, Minnesota, USA, that makes and sells machine-readable papers on which students mark answers to test questions. The next section of the evolution of educational technology is the entrance and significance of personal computers. Although the first computers were developed in the 30s, everyday use computers were introduced in the 80s. Toshiba released its first mass market consumer laptop in 1985, the T1100, and Apple's infamous Mac, which later evolved into the PowerBook, was available starting in 1984. In 1990, the World Wide Web was given life when a British researcher developed Hypertext Markup Language, or HTML, and when the National Science Foundation removed restrictions on the commercial use of the Internet in 1993, the world exploded into a frenzy of newfound research and communication methods. Later on, the first personal digital assistants were released by Apple Computer Inc. in 1993, and with that, computers were a part of every day, if not every moment. By 2009, 97% of classrooms had one or more computers, and 93% of classroom computers had internet access. For every five students, there was one computer. Instructors stated that 40% of students used computers often in their educational methods, in addition to interactive whiteboards and digital cameras. The next section is the future of technology in the classroom. It seems like years since MySpace, first introduced in 2003, Facebook introduced in 2004 and Twitter being introduced in 2007 have changed both the communication and business worlds. Instant connectivity has branched out from merely a tool of personal communication, to a platform for educational instruction and outreach. Social media is now being recognized as an accepted form of instruction in some instances, and groups such as scholastic teachers provide excellent support and tips for instructors. Biometrics, a technology that recognizes people based on certain physical or behavioral traits, is on the technological horizon. The science will be used to recognize the physical and emotional disposition of students in the classroom, altering course material to tailor to each individual's needs based on biometric signals. A second up-and-coming technology is augmented reality glasses, rumored to be on Google's release list, and this technology could be a whole new world for education. Our glasses, or even contact lenses, will layer data on top of what we naturally see, to allow for a real-world learning experience. 
Multi-touch surfaces are commonly used through equipment such as the iPhone, but the technology could become more relevant to education through entirely multi-touch surfaces, such as desks or workstations. This could allow students to collaborate with other students. Finally, we have gotten to the end of this video. If you found value in this video, kindly like this video and share it with your friends. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you will receive our videos immediately we upload. Thanks for watching.